What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be talking about the rumors that Black Ops 4 will not have a campaign this year. In addition to this, there's been a lot of other rumors floating around that Raven is working on a Battle Royale mode to essentially replace this campaign mode in this upcoming game. Now, I want to be very clear here, these are just leaks and rumors at this point. A lot of these leaks are coming from industry insiders, so it seems like it could be legitimate. But having said that, we also saw the same story with this Modern Warfare 2 Remastered that's apparently coming in a week and a half, but we haven't heard anything about whatsoever. No marketing, no nothing, absolutely nothing from Activision or any official channels. So I just want to make sure you guys are really clear on that before we get into this video. None of this is confirmed at this point until Activision, Treyarch, or Raven officially states that it's confirmed. We likely won't know about any of this with absolute certainty until May 17th, which is the community reveal event for Black Ops 4. Now having said this, I am going to be going through this video with the assumption that this is true, just talking about my thoughts and everything on this. Let's first just talk a little bit about the sources of this leak, and just in general, just a recap of what's going on here. So several industry insiders have contacted various gaming news organizations, informing them that Black Ops 4 is not going to be having a campaign, and there was one actual very detailed post, which I, I will link all these sources down in the description below, that was stating that Black Ops 4 initially was going to have a campaign, they've been working on it for quite some time now, and the general premise of this campaign was some form of like time travel. So we're set in the future, but we'd be traveling back in time to the events that took place in previous Black Ops games, so Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, maybe even a little bit of Black Ops 3, and we'd be trying to alter history, or something along those lines at least. That's what I gathered from reading through that post anyways. But that sounds like a really cool idea. It would bring back a lot of that nostalgia, we'd be going back, but it would be different. It's not like we'd just be going back and replaying missions or anything. It would be a completely new and unique game. We would just have that nostalgic factor of kind of re-experiencing things that we've seen in the past and just changing the outcomes of that. This seems like an amazing idea. I think that would be incredible. And it also kind of falls in line with that teaser we got a little while back where they were talking about like forget everything you know, it ties in with that statement, as well as the fact that as they were revealing that logo, they were playing a bunch of clips from all the previous Black Ops titles, they were kind of playing a montage of clips as it went through there, and that would all make sense going along with this idea of this campaign. Apparently, according to this source, this idea was too big and they wouldn't be able to complete it for launch, and therefore Activision basically told them to scrap it. Again, just want to reiterate, these are rumors, I wouldn't want people spreading this as fact at this point. But if this is the case, that is a little bit disappointing, because it seems like they've really been working hard on something, and it sounds like a really cool idea that I think a lot of the fan base would love, and it would kind of suck if they had to just kind of throw that all away. Now, in addition to this, there's been several other reports that Raven is working on a Battle Royale mode for Black Ops 4, and this would be like a dedicated side mode to go along with that, and potentially now they're going to have the space available within the game, as well as the resources available, to have like a full-fledged BR mode if they're not doing campaign. So it would essentially replace the campaign mode. So those are the leaks and the rumors so far. Now I want to talk really about my thoughts on all of this. First up, let's talk about the lack of a campaign mode. Now, without the whole story about Activision telling them to scrap this great campaign idea and they've been working hard on it and everything, without thinking about all of that and just thinking about the fact that the game's not going to have a campaign mode, I'm personally totally cool with that as long as they're going to be dedicating a lot more time and resources and effort towards the multiplayer as well as the zombies portion of the game. If this means that we're going to have a bigger and better multiplayer experience than we've ever seen in Call of Duty with like tons of maps, tons of weapons, tons of modes, tons of variety, that's awesome. I'm totally happy with that because for me at least, 99% of my playtime in Call of Duty is in multiplayer. I have definitely enjoyed some campaigns from the past, but over the past several years, I've never really even been interested enough to finish a Call of Duty campaign. I'm all about that multiplayer and I love multiplayer. Of course, this is just my personal opinion based on my preferences and my experiences with the game. I know there's a ton of people out there that would be really disappointed to see no campaign and they actually really love Call of Duty campaigns. But for me at least, as long as it means they'd be taking multiplayer and zombies to the next level and they'd be dedicating a lot more time and effort and energy and resources towards that, I'd be totally cool with that. However, the whole story about them potentially having worked on this campaign for a while now and then Activision suddenly told them to shut it down and basically throw it all in the garbage, that would be really disappointing to hear about, especially from the perspective of the developers. I can only imagine pouring your heart and soul into your work and, and building this thing that's going to be great, and then the higher-ups basically just say, yeah, that's not going to work, you're not going to finish in time, just scrap it. 
that would really suck for the developers out there. And also this would mean that those extra resources, at least up until whenever this decision was made, which apparently according to the rumors, was made towards the beginning of this year, all of those extra resources weren't essentially being poured into zombies as well as multiplayer, and therefore maybe they aren't going to be having this massive leap forward when it comes to multiplayer as well as zombies. Another big thing to consider with this is one of the nice things about Call of Duty over the years is just the total package that it provides with its zombies, its multiplayer, as well as its campaign, and then sometimes there's even like little side things like the free running in Black Ops 3 for instance. Without campaign, I think they would really have to be buffing things up in other areas, like they would have to go all out on multiplayer and zombies, or let's get into the next rumor, they would be adding a battle royale mode that's actually separate from multiplayer and it's its own thing. Kind of like what Fortnite did where it had its like save the world mode, that was actually the main game, and then it branched off and made this side mode which is battle royale which ended up getting all the popularity and is now essentially the main game for them. Now in the past when there have been those little rumors that Black Ops 4 was going to have a battle royale mode, I was skeptical and one of my biggest reasons for skepticism here was that it just wouldn't fit in the game, at least not a full-fledged like all-out battle royale mode. We're not talking about just like a large free-for-all with old school rules, but like a full-fledged like massive map many many players like 100 players or even like 50 plus players i didn't really think that would be technically viable to include alongside something like a campaign zombies and a full-fledged multiplayer my view on that is they'd have to sacrifice something and from the sounds of it if they're sacrificing campaign maybe it's doable maybe they can actually have this full-fledged battle royale mode now i'm still not too convinced about the technical viability within the cod engine of having 100 players on a large scale map I don't think that would work. I'm not a programmer or anything, but it just seems like the way that things are laid out with Call of Duty, that wouldn't be an option. At least not while maintaining the performance standards that Call of Duty has in comparison to other games. So like that 60 FPS target, for instance. So I don't think they'd be able to manage 100 players within the COD engine, but maybe up to like 50 or so if they really dedicated the time and resources, which it seems like they would be doing if they have Raven on the case. But I'm not too sure how that would play out. Well, I think it would be fun and I would enjoy playing the mode, absolutely, because I love Call of Duty and I think it would be neat to play in a Battle Royale setting with Call of Duty. I think if they truly want to compete with the other Battle Royale games that are already in the market and already really established in the market, they would have to absolutely blow people away with it. They would have to take it to the next level and I don't know if they'd be able to do that within a Call of Duty game. They might be able to emulate certain things, but I don't know about taking it to that next level and really pulling people away from Battle Royale games so that they're going to be playing the Call of Duty Battle Royale instead of like Fortnite Battle Royale or PUBG Battle Royale. My personal thoughts on this is I feel Call of Duty should be focusing more on what brought them success, what sets them apart from the competition, and take it to the next level. I'd rather see them be a leader in something, perhaps try to take things in a little bit of a different direction while focusing on the core elements that built Call of Duty and just take that overall experience to the next level. If they're not doing a campaign, the resources would have been freed up for something like that. And that's what I personally would have liked to see. Having said that, like I said, assuming they are doing a Battle Royale mode, I'm sure I would play it a decent amount. Maybe even I would fall in love with it and play it a ton. I'm just a little bit skeptical at this point that they'd be able to top an existing Battle Royale game by having this side mode within the game. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I'd love to know in the comment section below, of course, what do you guys think of this? First off, what do you think about the idea that they may be scrapping campaign and then putting more energy and focus into zombies and multiplayer? Do you like that idea? Do you dislike that idea? And also, what do you think about the idea of potentially replacing that campaign mode with a full-fledged Battle Royale mode for Black Ops 4? Let me know those thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.